Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. So Captain America is primed with that crystal blue that I love so much now. Uh, I had primed this person at the same time as uh, as Captain Marvel, so I didn't know the problems I was going to have with it. But this one is a lot less bad for some reason. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's the colors I chose or whatever, but it comes out really nice. So we start off with some corpse pale, and of course we do his uh, face, ears, eyes, and hands with this color. All right, now we're gonna be using some matte white from Army Painter. We're gonna paint the entire shield with this just to have a base color and be able to paint just the rows of red and blue later on. And we're also gonna paint the leathering on his helmet and some other little parts here and there on the miniature. Moving on to pure red from the army painter, we're going to use uh, this on two rows on the shield, so the outer row and then the next one it will be white and then red again. Uh, this takes a lot of detail in that and it's not perfect looking but it still looks good for me and I'm happy that it's tabletop ready. Uh, this is also going to use uh, the red on these patches that he has on his uh, shoulders and a couple other parts as well on the miniature. Uh, now I'm going to be using some Viking blue just for around a star on the center of his shield because I don't think they have crystal blue as um, as a paint, like as a match for the primer. So anyways, this Viking blue came out pretty good. But 
Now to do all the leather strappings on this guy, we use Rigid Brown, which is a unique color from the Zombicide uh, Invader paint set. And you can only get it in that box. So I use this for all the straps and his leather pouches, uh, his gloves, and some parts of his boots. Now we're going to be using some shining silver, and this is for the interior part of his shield because, of course, it is shiny and is made out of uh, what is it? Adamantium? No, <laughs> vibranium. Uh, so, and also for the star on his chest, and as well as some uh, little clippings and stuff like that, belt clips and that uh, on the miniature will be done with the shining silver. Now I could have used metallic colors on the entire shield, but I decided to use this fairy dust to see how that comes out and it gives it a shine that I wanted. Not perfect, but hey, not bad. Then I'm going to use some hardened carapace. Uh, this is going to be for the entire base. And uh, I took a few more coats, so I do that off camera because it had blue again. I'm going to do a dry brush of Filthy Cape on top of that base as well, just to give it a little bit more lifelike look to it. And then we're going to put a light tone quick shade on the entire miniature, uh, just to give it a little bit more depth. And I didn't want to put blue and red and all that and different colors on it. This was just a nice little quick shade just to get into the recesses.
Well, there you have it, folks. Captain America from Simon Games Marvel United is painted and ready for the table. Have a good day. See you next time. Hit that subscribe button.